everyone today we'll do very interesting part of relations and functions that will be very important for forthcoming examinations of cbse and isc class 12 we are going to do number relations number of functions number of one one function number of onto functions starting i'll tell you the table only table will be sufficient for you people to answer any mcq of that type so let's start consider set a having m elements set b having n elements now firstly number of relations in fact it would be total number of relations from set a to set b its answer is 2 raised to the power m into n actually it is nothing but the number of subsets number of subsets equals to number of relations total number of functions from again set a to set b it would be number of elements in b to the power number of elements in a right now in case this got mixed up in exam then what happens aur aapko yahi yaad hai n to the power n there could be a mistake so it's always advisable to learn it like this it is number of elements in set b to the power number of elements in set a always right thirdly yes therefore number of relations which are not the functions as you know you must be knowing every function is a relation but every relation is need not be a function right so number of relations which are not the function it will be total number of relations minus the number of functions we get the relations which are not the functions right this is starting so pause the video and note it memorize it number of relations number of functions number of relation which are not the function right next we see one one function onto function etc and we get again set a m elements set b n elements we are discussing a to b set a to set b we are discussing. so now starting uh, we are starting the table straight away you need to memorize this table if you are okay with the table fine if you are interested in the proof for that you need to write in the comments later on i will be posting one more video after this about the proof but this time without proof just memorize it and you can answer the questions easily what is that table let's see 1 1 many 1 on 2 into and bijections bijection means 1 1 1 there are three cases the cases are first case when m is less than n that is number of elements in a is less than number of elements in b then we have number of elements are equal and then number of elements in a are greater So 
let's start. The most important here for your examination point of view, the fourth term exam in November, is this case m equals to n. m equals to n, just memorize it, it's quite simple. It is n factorial here, n factorial here, and n factorial here. Quite simple. So if you have five five elements in both, number of one 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 functions, factorial five, 5 one twenty. On to function factorial 5, 120. Factorial 5, 120. Right. Now, what about many one functions? Obviously, the function which is not 1, 1 will be surely many 1. So, that would be total number of functions minus number of 1, 1 functions. The function which is not on to surely will be into. So, total number of functions minus number of 1, 2 functions. This was the case of n is equal to n. This will be important for you factorial n factorial n factorial n or n factorial now we come to m is less than n simple logic when m is less than n on to is not possible right so straight away no on to functions here why is it so as i told before that will i'll prove in the next video if you want just write in the comments this one 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 function is n m is less than n, it is n p m, p is the permutation, right, many one functions, total minus n p m, the function which is not one one surely will be many one, now there is no one to function, it means all the functions are in two only, so that is n to the power n, we have one one but we do not have one two, and the bijection is one one as well as one two, so no bijection. So this is the new case for you, new thing for you. Now we come to m greater than n. When m is greater than n, surely 1 1 is not possible in that case. 0. Again proof in the next video. Many 1 function, all the functions are many 1. Now this one, this is the typical one, this won't come in your exam, that is for sure. Subjection, on to mean subjection. This is not required for you people. This is for competitive exams. It is like this. Summation k running from 0 to n minus 1 to the power k n c k then n minus k to the power n. This is not required for exam. Right? Into, obviously, the function which is not on to will be into n minus n minus this complete thing. And yes, no 1 1 function, so surely no bijections. So when m is not equal to n, we do not have any bijective function. We have bijective function when m is equal to n. So it can be like this m is equal to n, or it can be from set a to set a itself. Then we consider this case only. So here, for your examination point of view, the important things are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are important things for examination point. And yes, to some extent, you should know this as well. This is nothing but selecting m out of n and then arranging them. So this we will discuss, the proof will discuss in the next video. Hopefully this table will help you in your examinations. So pause the video, go through it properly. So that's it for today, that's it for this video, good day, take care everyone.